Hey guys, Shabba to be here bringing you my review and impressions of Dragon Ball Super Episode 90, which is titled Break Through the Walls, Goku and Gohan. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and say this episode was pretty straightforward with what it was giving us. Basically, it promised us a Goku versus Gohan, and that is exactly what we got for about 95% of the episode. Which, I'm not going to complain about. I actually like this fight quite a bit. Why? Because it actually got to show off Gohan actually being decent at fighting and actually kind of cool. But, um, it does also show off a few other people. Um, you know, let me just go ahead and post these pictures I got here. I don't look. I, I screwed up, it looks like. Oops. Um, hold on. <laughs> I have messed up. Uh, okay. Here is some random pictures from the episode. Um, this right here is actually from a scene where Goku's just chowing down, eating all, uh, the food in this restaurant, and, it, and P poor T in here is having to pay for it, which is kind of one of the reasons he needs money, because <laughs> he's, like, talks about it while he looks at his empty wallet. He's like, ugh, I guess put it on my tab while he's eating. And then we get... Um, the tag team of Go uh, Goku and Tien versus Gohan and Piccolo. So we do finally see the uh, tag team technique that Gohan and Piccolo were talking about last episode, which pretty much consists of Piccolo charging and uh, Gohan just delaying people from attacking Piccolo. But, because of that, we do get to see Gohan has a finger laser. Well, not really a finger laser. It's more like a... It's just a finger blast. It's like a little... It's kind of close to the uh, move Gogeta used in the um, uh, Fusion Reborn movie, kind of. But it's just like one finger. And it's actually pretty cool. I actually liked it. It's just that it's so short of a scene, I couldn't really get a good picture of it. So... Here is the point when it just pops out. I think it's kind of cool. I, I liked it. He basically uses it on TM because TM's about to hit Piccolo, knock him out of his uh, charging stance thing, which, you know, this is the aftermath of that, which is um, he does like an AoE kind of like uh, Majin Vegeta did, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, didn't actually do much of anything. It destroyed the ground, and... It kind of, like, uh, did nothing <laughs> of value. But, it was pretty cool. Um, it might work on someone, possibly, in the, um, uh, series. Like, I'm sure someone's gonna get knocked out by it. Or something. I don't know how they're actually gonna use it in the random spinning Beyblade top of Arena that, that we have. But, it'd be interesting. Then we have um, the only bits of not Gohan versus uh, Goku, uh, and that is we kind of have a peek at Universe Ten's fighters. Um, and since uh, Gowasu couldn't figure out who uh, to pick because he's so nervous because he doesn't want to pick someone like Zamasu because he doesn't want that to happen again, so he's very indecisive about that. So they pick for him. These 10 guys, and the main reason they picked th these 10 guys is because they're really buff and got muscles. I also got to say the little god, uh, like, whatever angel person, pretty adorable. But yeah, mainly because muscles is the main reason. In fact, they even start chugging down protein drinks randomly. It's like, oh, what time, time to chug some protein drinks. Like, okay, kind of weird. I don't... I'm not too sure how the like rest of the fighters are going to look. Is this guy going to be the lead fighter? This orange guy? I don't know. Alright, let's get back to more uh, Goku and Gohan. Uh, Goku does go Super Saiyan Blue K-Can against uh, Gohan. Which is kind of neat because we don't get to see that form. Well, we've been seeing it more often lately. But... Before that, we haven't really seen that much of it. He uses it, like, once in a blue moon. Well, it's like once an arc, basically. 
But so far in this arc, we have actually seen him lose it twice. Uh, maybe, maybe three times. Uh, at least twice. I'm trying to remember if he used it uh, against the wolf guy, but I don't think he did. I know he used it against um, uh, the the grappler guy. I can't remember his name. Uh, but he used it against him, now against Gohan. So, that's interesting. And then I just like this scene. It's actually Gohan charging up to uh, Goku and his Kekan form. And it just looked pretty nice, actually. I gotta give him credit for that. That scene actually looks really nice and, like, action. I was like, they did go on really well in this episode. I give them props for that. Normally, go on's crap, but this time around, good job, Toei. You actually didn't screw things up. Well, sort of. The reason I say sort of is, next episode... Um, they do mention Boo being not able to compete or something, which I've heard these rumors. I know what, who is probably going to take his place, and I'm not sure if I'm approving of that, because I think it's kind of stupid. But, uh, we do get to see more Frost and Hit next episode, um, and then the whole Boo not being able to fight things. Uh, happening. But then the episode after next is supposed to be we get our new fighter. No, it's not Yamcha, apparently. Poor Yamcha. He's even getting, like, thrown under the bus against, like, for this new guy who's going to be coming up. Alright. Spoilers for if you want to know who the new person is. Uh, it's actually Frieza. It's who everyone says. <laughs> so, yeah, look forward to that. I'm, I'm not, but oh well. All right. So, what did you guys think about the episode? If you've already watched it, I liked it. I'm gonna give it a, I'm giving it an eight point five. The only reason I'm doing that is because there wasn't any plot involved in the episode besides like, oh, actually, there was one big plot point that happened in this episode. This is a spoiler, so don't listen to, well, it's not really that much of a spoiler, but if you don't want spoilers at all, you shouldn't watch this video. I spoiled this whole uh, episode for you, but there wasn't much there. But, the main bit of plot for this episode is, Gohan is now the team leader for Team Gohan, or whatever the hell the team's gonna be called. It doesn't really, uh, I guess Team Universe 7? Th these things don't really have a names, but he's the team leader now. That's kind of cool. But yeah, that's the big news for the episode. It's like, yeah, Gohan's cool, and he's now the leader. Alright, um, yeah, I'm giving it a 8.5 because there wasn't much plot besides fighting. I do like the fighting, though. That's actually what kept it up there, because n there was literally nothing else. If, <laughs> if there was actually something else, I would actually probably give it a higher score, actually. Uh, but with the, what they had, I I liked it. So, I if you are a Gohan fan and you want to see Gohan be pretty cool, check this episode out because Gohan is pretty cool in this episode. All right. So, without further ado, I'm gonna have to say see you in my next video, which will be um, at least next. W there's gonna be at least one next week, which will be Dragon Ball Super. So, ha! Ah, I can guarantee you that one. All right. Later, guys.